Is is this not the most least undelight not undel is this is this not the most least not undelightful tea party you've ever not haven't been to? Indeed it is. This film has been modified from its original version. It has been formatted so that it is understandable and does not take four hours to view. Please enjoy. More tea, anyone? I'd be tea-lighted. <laughs> Don't be tedious now. <laughs> Speaking of tedious, how are your husbands doing? <laughs> Mr. Bingley is very charming most of the time. Mr. Darcy is so delightfully loving and understanding. Mr. Collins is so clerical. He knows the Bible so well. Let's just say they don't call him Wild Wooly Wickham for nothing, get my drift? <laughs> he gets the job done. I'm glad they let us get together for our tea parties, even in February. And on the 13th of the month, no less. Wait, February 13th? Oh dear, it's almost Valentine's Day. I bet none of your husbands remembered. I bet mine did, but yours didn't. I know, whichever of us had our husbands fail to remember, that one will have to do something terribly degrading for women of our rank. Something like, like... Like, think. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's wrong with thinking? <laughs> it's a bet. This penny and this bill just fell out of your sleeve, Mr. Darcy. Oh, I'm sorry. My scraped elbow must still be bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call your 300,000, Mr. Collins. I'll call and raise another 200,000. I fold. Lady Catherine would be mad if I lost. I'm in. With the money that you borrowed from me, Wickham. If I win, I can pay you back. <laughs> I suppose I'm in, Mr. Darcy, even though that is quite a bit of money. Show your card. I've got a full house. This is the only time we're ever gonna have a house. <laughs> All right. So, you're up to seven hundred thousand. Once you pay that back to me, I know I'll still owe you fifty thousand. And and me twenty thousand. And me ten thousand. And a big mat. Lucky for you, I have my Friday paycheck. 213 for the sum of. What? D did you say 213? He did. So? It's almost Valentine's Day. Really? My sisters told me it was the 28th. It's definitely the 14th. Maybe they are evil. <laughs> Maybe 
If Valentine's Day is tomorrow, we need to get gifts. Eh. I've already gotten a gift. I'll just order another coach online to take us between money levels, I mean neighborhoods, when Wickham hosts our poker nights. <laughs> In time for it to arrive tomorrow? There's a thing called instant shipping, Mr. Collins. It's expensive. How expensive, Mr. Bingley? Well, it makes the shipping absolutely instant, so it is quite definitely not inexpensive. <laughs> I would do that, but Lady Catherine would get angry for spending so much. What are you getting your wife, Wickham? Probably a pearl necklace. Jewelry. Yeah, jewelry. <laughs> I suppose I'll order with instant shipping. Didn't you say Lady Catherine might mind? Better her get angry than my wife. <laughs> Gentlemen, I wish you luck presenting your gifts to your wives. I think I'm leaving too. I'll see you all later. And Wickham? Yeah? Fifty thousand! 20,000. Big Mac. In the end, all of the wives liked their gifts, because when you've experienced this much pride and this much prejudice, there are only happy endings. <laughs>